Hello, Polly's Best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. So, what's in this drive today? It is Packland. I haven't played the CPC version of this, but I have played the Spectrum and the Commodore 64 and the Amiga and the Atari ST and the arcade machine. But I've never, for some reason, I played the Amstrad CPC version, so we're going to give that some love today. So, let's have a look. There it is, Packland. So, this is 1984, so an early game, Namco. So this is sort of like an enhanced Pac-Man, if you like. Uh, you have to insert your credits, just like simulating putting coins in the machine. Is it? Which key do you do? Use enter, enter to enter your, your coins. Oh, this is converted by a Grand Slam. It says, "Our good friends of Pac-Man in the Pac-Land." So uh, let's start the game. Do I press one on a keyboard for one player? Yes, you do. As you can see, this is Packland. So this is uh, on the Amstrad CPC version. It's a flip scroller. The arcade machine was actually uh, side scrolling. But yeah, they've done a nice job. They've got excellent colorful graphics. You can see the ghosts and stuff are in the pack world. Pack land, should I say. So yeah, watch out for the aeroplanes that go above. They're going a bit low for an aeroplane. Oh shit, he's coming after me in a... What's that? Go kart? Is that like one of them kart shoes for golfing? Right, this is a power pull. Just like on a Pac-Man. You can get the ghosts and the enemies with that. And you can also jump a hell of a lot higher as well. Once. But it only lasts for a few seconds and it goes off. So yeah, I can't jump as I anymore because I haven't got the power pull. But there's another one there. So yeah. Come on in. Come closer. Oh shoot! Oh! I wanted to get the power pull but I went into the uh, car instead. Right, here we go. There's a the power pull. So yeah. Excellent fun game. See the houses in the background look very nice for 1984, I think you would agree. Nice flash of colour on the game. Would have looked really good in 1984, I would imagine. Now at certain points of the game, you get this sign up says break time. It means you've completed that particular round. You can see at the uh, bottom right, you've got which round you are on. Bottom left is how many credits you've got. The score is at the top, high score in the middle. And two player two score if you're playing as a two player game. The scenery sort of changes on different rounds as well, like you see the mount, like the hills, the valleys in the background. Oh shoot! Watch out for this guy. Yeah, it's just quite a charming little game. It does slow down a bit when there's a lot of enemies on screen, but that's to be expected on these old aging dinosaur computers. Okay, here we go. Right. Oh shit! You nearly dropped that little tiny ghost on there. Ah, he's going after me in his car again. They're all angry at Pac-Man, aren't they? What, what, what's Pac-Man ever done to you? Okay, power pull. Yay. There we go. You can jump really high when you got the power pull. Now, entering the woods now. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's got a nice little variety to the level design. It's very nice. I like the fact it's got music all the way through as well. That's good. And it's got the sound effects of music simultaneously, which is good as well. And yep, so uh, basically that's uh, Packland on the uh, Atari ST. It's a classic, uh, unforgettable classic. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Superb fun and superb game. Thank you for watching. Goodbye! I'm going to have a quick look what Rain Freeze is like before I go. So Rain Freeze is sort of like a... Uh, like mating like more deep into the valley you can see and you get like these uh scary uh jumping sections now oh you booner so yeah packland nine out of ten thank you for watching goodbye